But in middle school, something happened. I'm a happy, go lucky kid. Mom and dad both at home. And my teacher, she said, Pete Key, go to the front of the class and read Shakespeare. I said, You're the teacher, you go to the front of the class and read Shakespeare. Everyone started laughing. I never forget. I go to the office. Principal is like, hey, don't worry about her, big guy. You ready for the game today? Because I was a star basketball player. At least I thought I was, right? When I went back to class the next day, that same teacher, she said, Pete Key, are you going to go to the front of the class and read Shakespeare, or would you like to take a trip to the office for another one of your wisecracks? And I remember walking to the front of the class. I look at the board. I said, fry, fry in, we, she said, sit down, his friends, Romans, countrymen. At that moment, I went from being the cool basketball jock with all the girls to the dumb kid from the west side who couldn't read. Everybody found out that day that I couldn't read. I remember walking out of the class and the teacher said, hey, hold up, hold up, stop. And she said, don't worry, people from your neighborhood hadn't read many books, so you don't need to know how to read that well to do what you're going to do in life anyway. I was like, yeah, you're right, because I'm going to the NBA. That's where my mind was. And I go back to school the next day, and this teacher by the name of Miss Amy Stockton, she said, B. Key, what is this about you cannot read? You're one of my brightest students. You know the Balicello. You know the Civil War. You know all. How is it you can make A's in my class and C's and D's? And I said, Mr. Stockton, this is the way you teach. Mr. Stockton, you make it. And she looked me in the eye. And she said, if you can remember whatever you hear, but you cannot read, you have a gift. She showed me how to take a cassette player and press record. And I would look at the word and I would read and record myself. And if I heard it, I could remember it. That's how I made it through school. A lot of people don't even know that's how I made it through school. She said, Pete, I got a little girl in another class who can really help you get on the ball. I said, Miss Stockton, she pretty. She can help me do anything. <laughs> Miss Stockton asked her, she said, no. And I asked her, I said, well, you gotta help me. And she said, no. I said, wow. So she started helping me. Eventually, learn how to read. I mean, long story short, that same little girl who was helping me in middle school, we've been married over 20 some years and we have two daughters now in college because one teacher saw something in us that we didn't see in ourselves. Yeah.